Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kim. I'm doing couples past life reading for April. So this is one of your past lives that is going to affect you for April, um, possibly in your relationship, in your love life. And the first card I have pulled is from the past life deck and it is love life. So um, this is indicating to me that um, the love of your life in the past is affecting your um your incarnation today uh, may maybe that you had an experience that was very painful back then with your partner and uh, in this lifetime you're being very cautious and um, this is coming up quite a bit for some of the star signs um, maybe um, that you need to work on yourself to help open your heart chakras again um, and be that loving person that you you've always been but um, this was uh, somebody that was very passionate about you, that loved you very dearly um, and expressed themselves through flowers, I'm feeling that very strongly. It also um, comes as a validation um, that the person you are romantically attracted to or interested in was very prominent in this past life. And um, it may not have been a romantic partner back then, but... There was a lot of chemistry um, and a lot of passion that they had for you but it's definitely part of the greater plan for this um, incarnation now i have pulled um, a couple of cards from the romance oracle deck and you've got chemistry and it's definitely validating that there was a chemistry between you i feel it was back in um, the times of jesus there was a lot of where the robes were worn and uh, there was beautiful sandstones and gardens around and just a um, time where you could reflect with each other without being disturbed you also have um, the card of calling your soulmate so I feel like in this lifetime today if you're not with anybody at the moment um, you are calling in your soulmate through prayers and you're visualizing this person to help bring you together because you have a strong feeling about this person that you um, were at, had the chemistry with in the past. Now, um, with the Lenormand cards, I have picked as the theme of the reading is the tree. And this is about karmic connections, ancestors. It's about um, being patient and things that are growing, that are very solid. Um, it's also your, your vitality, so it's your overall energies that health wise and you're bringing the um, card of the house into the reading and this could mean a home that um, you lived in back in the past or um, maybe it's telling me that you followed tradition back uh, in that past incarnation but um, I think you were all about family back then now this person um, could be um, someone that you admired uh, maybe they just knew where to walk in life they were all about their family um, they were a solid type of person and uh, very traditional it could have been a neighbor that lived in your community with a dog here um, this or it could have been someone that was staying at your home or it could be um, a pet that you had back in that day for some for only for some of you with the moon here this is about emotions and creativity um, it's also about things that are hidden in the shadows and uh, maybe <clears throat> for some of you with the uh, the moon here next to the card or underneath the card is about your dream home maybe you lived in a dream house or your partner lived in the house that you dreamt about um, maybe it was a popular house that you lived in or your partner lived in um, there, with the letter here, maybe this was a house that you had property deeds to or um, may have been um, a real estate contract that you had or you just received a message at a house and maybe it was from a friend who was very emotional and um, loyal and this person's very creative. It could have been a Cancerian back then uh, maybe you received an emotional letter from this person back then so it didn't require you to be together 
uh, but you still ha harbour those beautiful feelings and chemistry and the people that you've been with in the past don't okay, even come close to this person. Now underneath the deck I have a man so if you're a male Scorpio this could be in a same-sex relationship or maybe that you're incarnated as a male in this lifetime but it's telling me that you're very focused and career orientated in this lifetime. Um, you, you look for um, stability and sec uh, security or maybe you had a career in writing. This could have been creative writing with the um, the moon in the reading. But it's definitely telling me that you're anchored and this is something that you should be doing in this lifetime. Or there were some sort of secrets um, that you were keeping back then. Now I have pulled uh, two cards from the Animal Tarot deck. And the first one is the Princess of Spring. And this is the Monarch Butterfly. So butterfly tells me about transformation and you can also see the butterfly on the crown here. So it's telling me that you've get you've got a lot of creative opportunities that you're very passionate about. So maybe um, this was with this person uh, you had some creative talents with back then. Maybe it was just a friend at the time. Uh, maybe they lived in your community or they lived with you, uh, with your family. But... Um, You've got a lot of creative opportunities coming your way. There's some personal growth and your horizons are going to be broadened. So you're going to get some fresh ideas and um, this is like a, uh, you know, a last minute kind of light bulb will turn on and you'll get some great ideas. Maybe it is for this creative writing. You've also got the Nine of Autumn, which is a ragdoll cat. And it is telling me that you're going to be successful here. Uh, maybe the success brought you um, financial security in the past and you're bringing that to life again. Um, but it's also telling you that you've de you deserve some time off as well, that you've earned it. And maybe it's just about um, being in your own company at the moment because I feel like you are calling in your soulmate and they're not far away. Uh, even this is though this is for couples... Uh, I don't feel that um, your relationship that you're in at the moment or the one that you've just left was for you. Um, but you're definitely going to get a brilliant idea uh, for a business or self-employment that will be very successful for you. Uh, so I hope this reading has been beneficial, but um, your soulmate is not far off. I feel um, they're very creative and I feel that this was the case in the past time too but um i hope this uh resonates with you scorpio and i'll talk to you again thanks for stopping by